More about this with Abe Haim. He's an architect, activist and founding member of Architects and Planners for Justice in Palestine. Abe, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Uh, so what do you make of this planned expansion of settlements into Hebron? And what effect is that going to have on Palestinian hopes for a future state? Well, I mean, the settlers in Hebron have always been trying to grab more and more land and ho homes within the central, the city, the old city of Hebron. And they've been actually grabbing all the time, grabbing homes and, and you know, getting rid of the, 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 settle, uh, the Palestinians from their houses. And Hebron itself has become a ghost town because the, the Israelis have closed most of the old city. And, but allowing these violent settlers, these extremist racist violent settlers to have complete free reign. And they've always been demanding more and more homes within the old city, although there is another area in H1, which is the larger uh, area of Hebron, the, the main city of Hebron. And there's another settlement um, w called Kiryat Arba, very nearby, which has about 7,000 settlers. So this particular area within the old city hasn't had new housing. So this is what the new proposals are. And of course, the expansion of settlements goes on regardless of any condemnation even by the United States or, or the UK or the EU. Well, of course, settlement building has been deemed to be a violation of international law. Given that's the case, why do Israeli architects and planners continue uh, to build in these areas when it is against international law? It's illegal. Well, Israeli architects generally build within Israel on 93% of what was originally Palestinian land, which was sequestered by the Israeli state after 1948. So they don't seem to uh, sort of realize the political aspects. They try and divorce the politics of what they do. And the general building right across Israel is, is seen as non-political by Israeli architects. So they continue building. And of course, all the building laws exclude Palestinians, even within Israel. And, and lately, they've been turning Bedouin out of the Negev from rec unrecognized villages and building Jewish towns on the actual sites. So Israeli architects have been complicit, you know, with the whole agenda of um, the state in building. But a lot of them pretend that they don't build in the settlements or in the occupied territories. But of course, the Zionist architects do build all the, the settlements. Um, and you've said that, you know, despite condemnation and, and international criticism, that settlement building continues to go ahead. How do groups like yours uh, try and make a difference? I mean, what can it do to stop the appropriation of, of Palestinian land? Well, we try to challenge Israeli architects. We've been doing this for years. We had advertisements in the Times signed by prominent international architects to get them to stop building this il these illegal settlements. Did they listen? Um, uh, well, they've, they've realized now that we have taken this stand and we're trying to get the Israeli Association of Architects to actually condemn this and, and tell their architects that they are building illegally. And we've taken it to the United um, International Union of Architects, the international body, to try and exclude the, the Israeli Association of Architects because they're building completely against professional ethics that the International Union of Architects, UNESCO, the United Nations have condemned as illegal. And we're trying to get this, but of course it's very difficult because the pressure of the United States and, and Britain in completely supporting Israel despite pretending to condemn them allows Israel to completely, you know, behave with complete impunity and the, comp the total expansion of settlements. And of course, the extreme right government backed by Netanyahu who have said they will never withdraw a single settler. They will continue to build on the whole of Israel It'll be interesting and to confine see the Palestinians into the... What effect that pressure the, has. That's right. Uh, Abe, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Good to have you with us. Abe Haim there.